Hello friends, welcome to UGC EPG program. I am Dr. Elmirana Devi from Department of Geography, Sahed Bhagat Singh Evening College, University of Delhi. Today, we are going to discuss about the interbasis water transfer study of the interlinking of river project in India. We have been going through flood linking destructions and drought which causes anguish to the people in different parts of India. This is a regular phenomenon due to the disturbance in the natural distribution of the rainfall. In spite of highest rainfall receiving the world, not even one fourth of the water is utilized effectively. The amount of 4,000 billion cubic of rainfall on an average is received every year in which 75% is distributed in three monsoons month. Approximately about 1,900 BCM of water is available after ground absorption, runoff and evaporation, etc. And the estimated utilization of water resources is approximately 1,122 cubic kilometers. So, we are one of the water scarred country in the world. If no proper step is being taken for the management and conservation of water, then by 2050, we will be starved for water. Keeping this in mind, the government of India has developed a new idea to link the rivers of India with a canal so that the flooded rivers water can be transferred to those with drought prone regions. Now, let us understand what is interbasin water transfer. Interbasin water transfer is a mission to develop or link two or more rivers by constructing a canals manually for diverting the surface water from one basin to another deficit basin to reduce the water runoff to the sea. We can also say transfer of water from flooded Himalayas river to those with drought and scarcity rivers of peninsulas India. Why do we need for interlinking of rivers? Number one, regional rainfall variation. The distribution pattern of rainfall in India is uneven. There is a large scale special temporal variation of rainfall. During monsoon season, northern and eastern part of the country get maximum rainfall while the western and southern part remain almost dry. Hence, most of the rivers in southern part does not fulfill the demand of the people. On the other hand, Ganga Basin and Brahmaputra Basin flooded every year and the water goes waste in the sea. Therefore, interlinking of rivers will have water scarcity reasons to have more water throughout the years, giving an additional irrigation benefit. And this will control the flood in the water surface river and solve the problems for irrigation and domestic use in drought prone region in southern part of India. Second, the demand for food is increasing every year and estimated to double by 2030. It is therefore necessary to increase the area under crop production. The irrigation system of, in India is mainly through groundwater having more than 30 million tube wells. But the decline of groundwater tables likely reduce the production in the country. The proposed interlinking basins will benefit for food grant uh, will benefit for food grain productions to the water scarce regions. It is estimated to produce 450 million tons of food grain by 2050 in India. Number three, to control flood and drought. Flood are one of the major concerns in Himalayas rivers, particularly in Ganga and Brahmaputra's rivers during the monsoon seasons. There is a cause of huge damages in properties and human life every year, especially in the state of Assam, Bihar, West Bengal and Uttar Pradesh. On the other hand, southern state of Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu faces recurring droughts. The interlinking of river basins will transfer the flooded Himalayas river to the water deficiency rivers of peninsulas India. This will not only solve the flood and drought problems but also give benefits to millions of people for irrigation and industries uses. Uh, generation of electricity. The link canals will have a potential to generate an electric for the link. The link canal will have a potential to generate electric of 3,000. The link canal will have a potential to generate electric of 34,000 megawatt 
every year with new construction of canals and feasibility of making more dams. This will help increase the possibility to generate more electric power. Therefore, the demand for the electricity in many villages will be fulfilled. Let us now discuss little about the history of Indian river linking. The purpose of interlinking of rivers in India started in 19th century when Sir Arthur Cotton, a British Indian government during the British colonial rules, recommended for the first time to connect major rivers Senel, to solve the scarcity of water and drought in the southeastern part of the country and embark upon transfer of goods in South Asia. Later on, Dr. K. N. Rao in 1960s, who was then a irrigation minister, projected an idea of linking Ganga with Kaveri with a 2,640 kilometers long canal which he called as National Water Grid. His idea was to link 14 major Indian rivers to divert the surplus water from northern India to deficit area of southeast part of India taking into six components which are Ganga Kaveri link passing through the basin of Son, Narmada, Tapi, Godavari, Krishna and Penas. Second, Brahmaputra Ganga link. Third, Narmada Canal to Gujarat, Western Rajasthan and Maharashtra. Fourth, Western Ghat rivers to Eastern Ghat river link. Mahanadi Sarda Canal, Chambal Azmer link. This proposed link canal, this proposed link canal would require to pump 26 billion cubic of flood water from Ganga with a maximum lift of 550 meters height during the monsoons, approximately. 5 to 6, 7, 5 to 7 million kilowatt of water, uh, kilowatt of power is required to transfer 1,800 to 3,000 cubic of water from Brahmaputra's Ganga link to Kaveri links by lifting up to the height of 12 to 15 meters. Therefore, his proposal was not accepted due to the heavy cost and huge power requirement. Retired Captain Dajshus, J.D., a pilot in 1972, suggested a Garland Canal, canal, garland canal scheme, which includes 4,200 4, km long Himalayan Canal and 9,332 km long Garland Canal in Peninsula India. According to his proposals, 14 canal is required to link Ganga and Brahmaputra from the west to east of about 2,400 km long along the Himalayas and 1,770 km towards the south. A long canal of 9,332 km is needed to link central and southern regions. However, his proposals could not be implemented due to the heavy investment and unsound technology. But if educated, then it will be the largest intervention transfer of water in the world, giving a additional irrigation benefit to the water deficient regions. And it might produce a power of about 35, uh, about 35 gigawatt. In 1982, the Ministry of Water Resources and National Water Development Authority developed a feasibility report called National Perspective for Water Resources Development. The outline of the perspective consists of two components, that is, the Himalayas component and the Peninsula components. However, the plan was abandoned till the, commissions of, uh, till the Commission for Integrated Water Resources Development carried out a detailed study in 1999. In October 2002, the Supreme Court of India mandated that the central government to complete the project to link Himalayas river component to Peninsula's river component to provide water to the drought striker regions of India. A committee was set up under the leadership of former President Dr. APG Abdul Kalam and Prime Minister Sri Atal Bihari Basfai. A detailed report was a detailed report we are prepared to link 26 Indian major rivers by constructing 30 different link canals. The project we are to be begin immediately with a deadline by 2016, but only six links have been completed so far and it has been disbanded after the resignation of Mr. Prabhu from the leadership. First, let us discuss about the Himalayan components. Himalayas reverse components. Uh, Himalayas reverse development component consists 14 link canals and required to construct a, a 
required the construction of dams and storage reservoirs along the Ganga and the Brahmaputra rivers in India, Nepal, Bhutan. This will transfer the surplus water from the Eastern Ganga's river to the canal to the west. Further, Brahmaputra river and its tributaries will again link to Ganga river and from Ganga to the Mahanadi rivers. This project will provide a additional irrigation benefit to about 2 lakh 20,000 square kilometer of area and also general electricity to support the local demand on and route area. This link canal will provide inland waterway for easy and fast movement of goods. This will further provide excess water desired for the contributions Faraka barriers to flush out the seal of Kolkata port. Kosi Michi Link Canal. Kosi Michi Link Canal will divert surplus water from Kosi River to the Mahanadi Rivers. This canal will take off from existing Hanuman Nagar barriers on Kosi River. The total length of the canal is 112.55 km long and required and it requires lifting of water through adequate tube before merging with Michi River due to the topography features of the regions. Kosi Gagra Link We can also say Kanari Link Canal. Kosi Gagra Link Canal will take off from Kosi High Dam at Satra Barrage in Nepal. The total length of 428.76 km long canal will travel westward connecting many rivers in Nepal and Bihar. This link canal will give livelihood to the total area of about 10.58 hectares in Nepal, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh, having a storage capacity of about 1,021 cubic. Gandhak Gagra Link Canal The Gandhak Gagra Link Canal of 639 kilometers long take off from Gandhak barriers on Gandhak River in Indo-Nepal borders, making its flow towards west connecting Ganga in Rai Bareri district of Uttar Pradesh. It crosses many major rivers such as Rapti in the Rapti Barriers Link, Ghagra in the Ghagra Barriers Link, and Gomti in the Saryu Barriers Link. This link will give benefit to various districts of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. Ghagra Yamuna Link Canal take off from Nepal at Sisapani Dam in Kanali River, which makes its way towards the west. This canal will connect many major rivers, Sarada, G uh, Sarada Gangs, Ingagra and Sarju, Rapti barriers to merge with the Yamuna rivers and further link to Babai Sarju and the Raptis rivers in the east and the Mahakali Sarada rivers in the west by Girijapur barriers on the Kanali Ghagra. Sarada Yamuna Link Canal Sarda Yamuna Link Canal connect the Sarda rivers to Yamuna rivers with two dams. Terry Dam having a height of 260.5 meters and with a storage capacity of 2.6 BCM in India and Panseswar and, and Panseswar Dam of 350 meters height with 6.56 BCM storage capacity in Indo Nepal. This canal take off from proposed barriers on Sada River in Tanakpur town in Nanital district and travel with a total length of 384 km to the west to join Yamuna River. Yamuna Rajasthan Link The proposed Yamuna Rajasthan Link Canal start from the right bank of the proposed Yamuna Barres in Panipat district and travel towards the west to join with Sukri River in Jaisalmer district of Rajasthan. The total length of the link canal is 786 kilometers, 196 kilometers in Haryana and 590 kilometers in Rajasthan. The link canal is an extension to the proposed Sarda Yamuna link canal and passes through Haryana and Rajasthan to provide irrigation to the drought prone area. Rajasthan Sabarmati link Rajasthan Sabarmati link is an extension to the proposed Yamuna Rajasthan link canal which take off from proposed barriers on Sukri rivers in Rajasthan. The link canal travels for a total length of 725 kilometers, that is 650 kilometers in Rajasthan and 75 kilometers in Gujarat, to make water available at Luni and Banas rivers before joining with Sabarmati River. Tunar Son Barriers Link Tunar Son Barriers Link with a length of 149.10 km long take off from the Tunar in Ganga River near Mizapur district, Uttar Pradesh. This link 
This canal travel is and will have three pumping stations for lifting water at the height of 38.8 meters, 16.10 meters and 4.4 meters respectively. Son Dam Southern Tributaries of Ganga Link. Son Dam Southern Tributaries of Ganga Link Canal take off from the right side of the proposed dam across Son River near Kadua in Jharkhand with a total length of 339 km long. It travels east and joins Bhadua rivers. The hydel power project of 3.5 MW and 1.5 MW capacity is also proposed near the junction of Sakri rivers. This will give additional irrigation beneficial to the total area of 307 lakh hectares in the district of Patna, Nalanda, Gaya, Zehanabad, Munger, Bhagalpur, Nawada, Jamul, and Aurangabad of Bihar and Palamu district of Jharkhand, Manas, Sankos, Tista, Ganga Ling, which we call as MSTG. Manas, Sankos, Tista, Ganga Ling Canal with a total Length of 137 km long is an important link proposed in Himalayas component to transfer the surface water of Brahmaputra River to the state of Assam, West Bengal, Bihar, Jharkhand, and Odisha by giving a link with Ganga River. This will further travel west to link with the peninsula's component through Suvarnaka and Mahanadi, a high dams, a, a high dams with a storage capacity of 8. 0.75 BCM and 4.90 BCM respectively were proposed to Manas and Sankos River. This link canal will travel towards west and then south to join with Ganga rivers. Jogi Gopa Tista Faraka Link Jogi Gopa Tista Faraka Link Canal take off from proposed Jogi uh, Jogi Gopa Barres which will divert the deficit water from the Brahmaputra through a gravity link canal and travel in the western and southern part of the country to meet the water shortages. The proposed link canal has water dispute with China and Bangladesh. Therefore, it is examined by the international team and concluded that the link was not feasible due to the major problem of the soils. The soils in the end route of the canal will uh, end route of the canal, which is to be excavated, were prone to liquefactions in earthquakes. The earthquakes in Assam in 1954 has the same reasons. Faraka Sundarbans Link Canal. Faraka Sundarbans Link Canal starts from the Faraka barrage on Ganga River and travels from about 394 kilometers long to transfer about 9,000 mcm of water at proposed Hosnabad where in Sundarbans. The diverted water from Ganga rivers will be utilized for activating, for activating Moribans, Yamuna, and developments of uh, Kastipur, Bhagra Kanta Khal. The water will further divert to Hongli rivers for improving the navigability of the Kolkata port. Ganga, Damodar, Subhanekha, Link Canal. This proposed link canal begin from Faraka Barrels on Ganga River and travel towards the southern part across southern travel towards southern part crossing many major rivers to join with the proposed Subhanekha Barrels on River Subhanekha. The total length of the link canal is 394 km long. This will transfer about 28,913 mcm. Subhanekha Mahanadi Link. Subhanekha Mahanadi Link Canal take off from proposed Subhanekha Barrels in West Bengal to divert 21.20 ncm of surplus water from Brahmaputra rivers to Mahanadi rivers. The water will travel through Ganga, Dramodar, Subhanekha Link, which give benefit to about 36,500 hectares of land in Odisha and West Bengal. Now, let us discuss about the peninsula's components. The peninsula's components is also known as Southern Water Grid, whistling Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Penas, and Kabri rivers to provide irrigation benefit to the millions hectare of water deficit regions. The main objective of linking peninsula rivers is to divert surplus water from Mahanadi and Godavari basin to the surplus basin of peninsulas by interlinking with canals. But this interlinking will require to construct a number of big canals and last them. It will also require lifting of water in some places uh, which will involve huge financial and sound technical inputs. The interlinking project will be one of the challenging and ambitious projects.
16 link canal were identified in the peninsula's compoundland. Mahanadi Godavari link. The link canal required a construction of reservoir at Manibhadra on Mahanadi rivers and to the downlast and to the downlast forum, whereas on the Godavari rivers. The 8,200, the 827.70 kilometers. The 827.700 km long link canal is proposed to originate from the right side of the Manibhadra reservoirs and filling it into many major rivers in Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. Godavari Isampali Krishna Nagarjuna Sagar link. Godavari Krishna link canal is proposed to transfer surplus water of Mahanadi and Godavari rivers basin to Krishna River basin. The 299.5 the 299.256 km long link canal, including 9 km long tunnels, which originate from Isampali reservoirs and falling into many major rivers before merging with Nagarjuna Sagar Reservoir by Musi Reservoir. The end road of the canal mostly passes through agricultural fields, only about 35 km passes through dense forests in the starting. Due to the topographic obstacles, the link canals would be required to live in four stages up to the height of 35, 38, 23 and 11 meters respectively for which about 1705 megawatt of power would be needed. Godavari Insapali Krishna Pulichintala link. This link canal was a this link canal originated from the right side of the proposed Insampali dams with a length of 312.2 km crossing the ridge of Godavari and Krishna basins. The focus of the link canal is to divert 4,370 cubic millimeters from Godavari River to Krishna River. Hence, the topography doesn't permit the smooth gravity flow of the channel. Around 50 kilometers long tunnel is proposed and it also required to leave the water at different height of 106.68 meters and 69.68 meters respectively. Godavari Pulabarams Krishna Vijayawada Link. The 174 kilometer link canal start from the right bank start from the right bank of Godavari at the purpose of Pulabarams Reservoir with a carrying capacity of 5325 cubic millimeters. The canal will fall into Badameru. Uh, the canal will fall into Budameru rivers before joining Krishna rivers at the existing Prakashan barriers at Vijayawara. This link canal will transfer 2,265 cubic millimeters of water for the Krishna Delta has committed under the Godavari Water Dispute Tribunal and 1,564 cubic millimeters for end road irrigation industry domestic requirement before merging with Krishna River. Almiti Panels Link The 587 km long canal linking Almiti with panels originates from right bank of Almiti dams in Krishna River, Karnataka. The canal will transfer of 1980 cubic millimeters of water from Almiti Dam to join uh, Mandileru, a tributary of the panels near the Malakabe Mula village in Andhra Pradesh. This link canal will benefit Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Krishna Sri Salam Panel Link The main focus of the proposed Krishna Sri Salam Panel Link Canal is to transfer additional surplus water from Mahanadi and Godavari River to the Panel River through the natural streams. The diversion of the water begins at existing Sri Salam Reservoir and Sri Salam Right Main Canal, transferring of 2310 cubic meters, uh, cubic millimeters of water through Patira Depadu Head Regulator, and it is proposed to link Nipula Bhagu stream through Banakrasara Cross Regulator before falling into Panar River. The 204 km long canal is proposed to run 180 days in a year. Krishna Nagarjuna Sagar Panar Samosila Link Canal. The proposed link canal having a total length of 393.02 km start from Nagarjuna Sagar Reservoir in Krishna River. The link canal is designed to divert 12146 cubic millimeters of water out of it. 3,979 cubic millimeters diverted through NSRBC, 2,356 cubic millimeters diverted to 
irrigate the common area of Nagarjuna Sagar RBC. 810 cubic millimeters will be utilized for end road irrigation and remaining will merge with Panar rivers at Somasila. Panar Somasila Kaveri Grand Anikat Link Canal. The 529.190 km long panel Kaveri Link Canal run parallel to the existing Kandelura flood flow canal up to 10 km till RD and then travel 80 km from Kandeluru to Pandu Canal up to RD before traveling a distance of 439.190 km till Grand Anikat. The canal will divert 8565 cubic millimeters of water from Somasila Reservoir in Penar out of which 3170 cubic millimeters will be utilized for end route irrigations. 876 cubic millimeters of water will supply to Chennai city. 279 cubic millimeters will get benefit for the domestic and industrial requirement and 4240 cubic millimeters will transfer to Grand Anakad in Kaveri rivers, Kaveri Katailar regulators, Bangai Gundar Ling. Kaveri Bangai Gundar Ling. Canal is proposed to transfer 2,252 cubic millimeters of water from Katalai regulator of Kaveri River to the Bangai River to provide additional irrigation facility to 3,337 3, hectares annually in the district of Karu Tiruchipali. Uh, uh, this link canal will run parallel to the existing new Katalite high level canal for 36 km up to RD and then travel for 219.60 km crossing many rivers basin falling into Gandhar rivers. Ken Betwar Link the proposed link, uh, the proposed link canal is designed to transfer the surplus water of 1020 cubic millimeters from Ken River to the Betwa rivers. This water will also be utilized for end route irrigation to the common area. A dam is proposed with a maximum height of 73.80 meters at Ken River, 2.5 km upstream of the existing uh, Gulf Weir. The net water availability considering all the upstream requirement at the dam site is 3,291 cubic millimeters. As for the interstate agreement of 1981 on River Ken, 2,225 cubic millimeters of water from Ken River will divert to Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. Property Kalinsin Chambal Link. The main purpose of this link canal is to divert surplus water of Property River, Nivas River, and Kalinsin River to the Rana Pratap Sagar in Chambal River or to the Gandhi Sagar. Approximately 464 cubic millimeters of water from Patanpur River on 464 cubic millimeters of water from Patanpur dams on river property rivers will be diverted to Mahanpura Divisions Dam on river Niwas through a 55.37 km long link canal including a tunnel of 6.61 km. This will further divert 403 cubic millimeters of water to Kundalia Reservoir across river Kalisin through a link canal of 73.70 km including two tunnels of 1.29 km and 3.1 km respectively at Mahanpura. Kandalia Dam having a storage capacity of 1,234 cubic mm will again transfer of about 493 cubic mm of water from its old casement. Par Tapi Narbada Link Canal the proposed link canal of Par Tapi Narbanda with a 210 km long and 5.5 km long tunnels originates from Paikite Weir. The main objective of the proposed link canal is to transfer surplus water from west flowing river of Par Tapi, Oranga, Ambika and Purna to Srastra and Kurs in North Gujarat. This link canal requires a construction of several dams as the canal will has the canal will be passing through a dense forest of hilly regions. Daman Ganga Pinja Link Canal. The main purpose of this link canal is to transfer surface water to the greater Mumbai city to link Daman Ganga and Pinjal's rivers. Construction of reservoirs is proposed by National Development Agency and Government of Maharashtra and Dam of Daman Ganga River with a storage capacity of 400 cubic millimeters is proposed, which is further connected to the rivers back at Kangri Hins in Thane district through a 16.85 km long pressure tunnels. 
a long tunnels of 25.70 km will connect Kargi Hills and Pinzar's reservoirs. Pinzar dams having a storage capacity of 401.55 cubic millimeters on River Pinzar is Thane district. In Thane district is proposed by the government of Maharashtra. Betty Banara, uh, Betty Varada Link Canal. Betty Varada Link Canals embraces the diversion of surplus water from Betty River to the Varada Ring, uh, Varada Rivers. From the interlinking of this canal, two dams are proposed. Let us look what are the advantages of interlinking of river. Interlinking of rivers will have deficits drought prone reasons to have water throughout the year. It will give additional irrigation benefit and create potentials to increase production in agricultural sectors. Flood in the Ganga and Brahmaputra river basins will be controlled by transferring the surplus water to the deficit rivers or peninsulas. Scarcity of water in southern India will be solved. Generation of new occupations, facilitation of inland waterway to the last linking canal, last income generations. And what are the disadvantages of interlinking of rivers? Interlinking of rivers will cause huge loss to the, to the environment. Loss to the environment. The whole ecosystem will change due to the mass deforestation for the construction of the dams and canal. Resettlement of the people to the Andrew Kamal area is not an easy task, particularly the project will not last for a longer period due to the frequent changes in the river course. The amount of pollution in the rivers may increase as the flood floods the pollution down to the ocean, but diversions will increase the amount of concentration in the rivers. The amount of fresh water entering into the sea will reduce, which will cause a major ecological disturbance in the marine ecosystem. Total cost of this total cost of these projects is very huge. That the government will have to depend on foreign sources, which can fall in the debt trap. Political political uh, political relations with the neighboring country may disrupt due to the water sharing dispute. Thank you.